you visited out their area, we came from that area. We are from the land, from the air. And so it's so unique that last month, our tribe signed historic water agreement to forbear our water, to help the water crisis that's going on with the Bureau of Reclamation. <coughs> Yet we're having problems with the local BLM office. We're here not to fight. We're not here to name call or call names. We're here to partnership of Imperial County. We are lifetime residents of Imperial County. We're not visitors. So it upsets me, and, and I, was, I came with an, another spare speech, but we're just asking, and I think it was said, have you guys exhausted all of your appeals? We haven't heard back from the, from the Interior Board of Land Appeals yet. Where is BLM, local BLM office? Where are they here? They're not here. There's a reason why they're not here. So we ask of you, and you'll hear from our tribal members, not to name call, not to call threats, you know, that just the importance of that area. Please take this off the calendar. Please, we're not gonna challenge you. That's the old way. We're here for partnership. We're here for the future of Imperial County because we are lifetime residents of Imperial County. That's who we are. We're the Platon people. We're survivors of the air, the water, the land. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The, the state of California sponsored bounties for the red skin scalps who would interfere with the progress of mining. In 2019, Governor Newsom apologized for this dead genocide. He acknowledged it. Now, I'm not into politics. I don't really care who's you know, running for what election. I'm into preserving what we have. I'm into making sure that the future generations can go out and see what our tribe has, has lived through so that they can learn the lessons of resistance and how important it is to know where you come from. These mines have been going on for a long time. You're right. And sure, it's just an exploration. And you guys are just approving access, right? But that access leads to further mining. That access leads to further destruction. And it dispossesses our tribe even farther from our history and from what we have in that area. Now, I'll have you know that if you approve this today, it's just another step in, in the direction of progress in your minds. But for us, it's much more than that. It's egregious, and we will take counteractions to that. In addition, this, this area that we're talking about here today is being proposed for a national monument. A national monument to protect the area because it is recognized as a sacred site. In the NAFTA uh, tribunals uh, in the 90s, in the early 2000s, it was also recognized by international courts and the, sa and the same companies out of, out of Canada who were trying to mine for gold were shut down. They were stopped. Now, as the price of gold continues to go up, they keep coming back. And they keep enticing you guys with more, more uh, proposals and ways that they can you know, enrich truly themselves. I ask, what is the benefit to the county for the, for the mitigated de uh, destruction of this land? It's not mitigated. It's completely wide open. I know that you guys you know, don't want to participate in genocide and don't want to be called colonizers. So do the right thing. See this for what it is. It's not in the best interest of Imperial County and its residents. This serves one purpose, and that is to this mining company. If, you know, the speeches that we need to give and to give the talks that we need to give to actually be heard. And so for the BLM to, you know, continuously tell you that they've done consultation with us is absolutely incorrect. We have come here time and time again to let you know that, and our attorneys have made that very clear. We're still going through our appeal processes. And just like, you know, my fellow councilman said, you know, the, the Quetzal people predate this 1872 Mining Act by thousands and thousands of years. We have artifacts in that desert that predate the United States, you know, by, by thousands of years. And so we are the original stewards of this land. We are the original, you know, keepers of this land, and we have direct ties to that land. We, you know, for him to say that, you know, we don't oppose the mine that's right down the road, we've gone to the White House recently to ask for protections of the land all the way around this area and even further in all the way through the Coachella Valley. And so for you know those statements to be made, I think is you know irresponsible to make statements that you truly know nothing about. And so we we have you know been the stewards of this land, we are the protectors of this land, and we are going above and beyond to make sure that these lands are protected. This is just a small component of that. But I would like to say, you know, thank you for putting it off this long and I would hope that is this that you continue to put off making this decision until everyone is uh, has been heard so thank you very much for your time thank you